it from the clubs and oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um if you got the wine bottle from the clubhouse um i painted this or the bottles with uh black gesso gesso is what goes on canvases to keep the paint to stick if you don't have a gesso wine bottle it's not a problem it's just this helps keep the paint staying on um longer so and we're also coating it with mod podge so it should have came with the kit to the, uh, this week too let me grab some water because i forgot So got a cup of water off camera, got my wine bottle. Um, we also packed some washi tape. Washi tape is like a paper tape um, in the kits. This is just so we can make some clean lines. If you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. I also, I grabbed a couple different types of tape because I kind of am using this time to experiment on what the best tape for this is. I was told washi tape. I've used painter's tape in the past and that's pretty decent. But what we're going to do today, I'm gonna to set this up like, so you can watch me first. I'll do the technique. And if you wanna do that with your wine bottle, that's great. Cause I have the stained glass one here. I got kind of like a free form swiggle and then I have some flowers. So I'm gonna divide my bottle up into three sections and I'm gonna show you guys each section how to do it so maybe to first just watch it first just watch good. and then okay so so i'm going to start with the stained glass one with the lines and that's what the tape that we packed was for i'm first going to section off my bottle real quick just so i have um sections for you guys. I'm going to do three different types. You guys can do, you can follow along and have three different types. I don't know what it's going to look like at the end. Or you can just wait and then just pick which one you want to do because the, the technique itself isn't uh, hard or long. It's just a matter of um, getting it right. So I'm putting some what we call washi tape down on my bottle to create a set to section it off. So I'm just kind of going all the way around for myself to um, go ahead and tape the section. And I'm trying to make it as even as humanly possible. If you got bubbles, like right there, you got to smooth them out really good. Or try again, because what happens is the tape kind of sinks underneath it. All right, so my first section, as I said, I'm going to be doing um, the stained glass. My washi tape was huge that I had. This is just something I had. Um, the ones that were provided in the packs are more about this size. And it feels more like ribbon. But what you do is you just kind of create sections out of the tape to create uh, nice straight lines. And it doesn't matter how big or how long you just kind of, you're creating like the stained glass appeal. So it's kind of like just shattered glass. So as long as there's some intersections in there and the other thing I should mention where it's at the intersection, you might want to press down extra hard just so um, there's no possible gaps where the paint can get under. So I'm going to, quickly demo. Everyone has different colors to work with, um, different and is going to have different shapes. And I'm showing you different ways to do this. So um, you all are going to have a different, slightly different uh, look. So we all had craft paint in different colors. So I am just going to fill my little palette here with some colors. If you have your tubes, um, or not tubes, but if you have your little tubs, you don't have to use a palette. You just can work right from the tubs. So I got a couple colors here. Now I should mention, like, I'm just I'm just doing a demo right here. So I would like if you want to go with this technique, 
you're going to go all the way around all the way throughout the bottle but i'm just doing a little portion just so i can show you and then i'll finish each section so everyone should have a paintbrush oh yes i got a question because i couldn't get into zoom yeah okay what are the strip what are those strips from those strips were in the kit they're just tape it's just it's a it's a kind of a paper tape that oh. um if uh, if you got some of the, if you got the kit you should have gotten a little thing of uh, paper tape uh called washi tape okay or, no i didn't get the kit because i had i thought i had everything i didn't see the saying anything about a tape but Oh, okay. no, it's okay. It's okay, because what I'm doing, the project itself, I'm going to show three different techniques. So I have, the first one is like, we're blocking out different uh, sections for different colors, like stained glass. Okay. And then the second one's more of a free form. You don't need any tape for that. And then the last one is also uh, like a floral, um, kind of a floral. Okay. So you don't need tape for that either. So okay. I'm just showing you different techniques because I want to give you guys options. Options are always good. Okay. So what you needed that we didn't provide was a paper towel, cup of water um, is the first. So I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. I'm going to just start with the lightest color first because I like to do that because if I have to go back, um, if I have to go back a couple times, I want to get those colors on first. Like the yellow, my yellow right here is kind of transparent. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have to make a couple layers of that color. So I'm going to, so I'm going to wait on that one. I'm going to try some green. See that green is a lot better. And if you have colors um, that are, are um, Mixable, you can add a little bit of yellow to your green so you can have a lighter color green. That's more yellow. So I can kind of play around with like a light green, see what happens there. And then maybe I'll get some pink. Hopefully that is vibrant enough. Yeah, it looks pretty vibrant. So what happens when I am painting, um, when I am painting these, I don't have to worry about nice clean lines because the tape is doing all the work for me. I can be more concerned about color choices. And this is probably one of the easier techniques because you know, all, the, all the stress of having to be precise is kind of removed. So I'm going to, let's, well, I'm going to do one more layer of this light green real quick. And then I'm going to kind of see what happens when I pull off my tape. A little more green, a little more yellow. Sorry, you can't see my little, and really it doesn't matter what colors you choose. Um, I have a couple different types of paints, but I, I'm starting with the craft paint first because that is what, we were given um, and that is what is supposedly ideal for this project so I'm going to be the guinea pig trying to find out if this is true or not so I'm going to pull my tape off my washi tape and if I did it right which looks pretty good I got some nice clean lines coming off so then all that tape we use we can just discard so the one thing you want to try to make sure is that we have, um, that we're pulling the tape that's on the top first, like this one, I totally missed this one. This one I put on top first, so I gotta move this one first before I can finish pulling that off. And the reason we're doing the tape for this one is because the black um, lines of the bottle that we painted will cut, will show through. Like the, um, like the lead of a, of a stained glass. So that is just a tiny preview. I'm gonna come back in and work on this a little bit more once we get all our techniques done. So pulling off the tape, I got my, Ooh, uh, nice. my pattern. Now I did notice that some of the paint got underneath here. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll come in with a little bit of black paint later and fix it. So that is technique one. Where did I'm you going... the... Did you paint oh, yes. the 
Did you paint the bottle black? I did, yes. Um, I did, but you don't have to. Okay. So if, if you didn't paint the bottle, if you have a, a clear bottle, then um, it, the lines would just show up clear. It will create another, uh, it will look, create another design, but it still looks cool. So now I'm gonna kind of peel off. Oh yes, Tina? Where did you get the fat piece of tape or should we just get a piece? Oh. Um, I just grabbed, I, I, this is, this is the, the washi tape that I had. This is just, uh, this one's just for me because I'm doing three different techniques for you guys. Okay. So I'm just kind of separating those. Um, and honestly, I probably shouldn't have taken the tape off. I just realized that I still need to show you the other portion. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tape another section. Um, and so this one, so I'm going to be probably using the same three colors for most of this. Um, you can use as many colors as you want. I'm just kind of sectioning off. I'm going to section off right there. And because I'm just doing partial, I'm not even going to go all the way around. So this is the, yeah, the big tapes just for me because I needed to be able to separate the techniques. Washi tape is, is actually fairly inexpensive. It's decorative tape. It's a paper tape, so it's easier to pull off. Um, so, uh, so it's easier when you're working with crafts. The only thing is like, like most tape, you gotta watch out for bubbles. You can even use um, scotch tape. I have scotch tape right here and I'm pretty sure it, because we're only using this for a short amount of time, I'm pretty certain that this would work as well. And I'm actually gonna test this out for you guys real quick. So I'm going to just use regular scotch tape because that's probably the easiest tape to come across. I'm gonna get my brush real quick. I'm gonna do another, I'll do another slot right here. I'm just gonna see how that goes with just some scotch tape. Scotch tape is a bit thicker than the washi tape that was provided. So I'm gonna, it's harder to peel, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, so yeah that, works, that works just as well. A little bit more tedious because you can't see it. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, hmm. it creates that clean line that we're looking for. So that was the first one to create like a stained glass technique. Um, the next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you have a pencil, you can certainly use a pencil if you wanna draw out your design. Like a, it's, just, it's just like a kind of like a swirly pattern. If I try to draw a pencil on this, you guys are not going to see it. I grabbed some chalk because this will just brush away. But let's say, um, let's say we're going to we're going to section this off. And I'm just going to do some organic shapes. And organic shapes are just shapes that um, are not measurable. I'm using chalk. Chalk is great to use for this because. Um, you do not have to worry about it saying it wipes off super quickly. So I'm just kind of dividing my um, my section into, into different groups. I mean, you can use a pencil too. And the great thing about pencil is that you can't see it once you start painting. Um, but what I um, would do if I did the technique where I'm drawing the lines out first, I would start sectioning out uh, the paint and I would create like a halo around where I drew. So there's still gonna be a black line once I'm done, but it's not going to be precise like before. So this is more of a funkier, like I would equate this to maybe like a lava lamp type approach, like shapes. Um, and that is certainly if you want to do a more free form look, That'd be great. And as I said, if you use chalk, it wash, it wipes right off. If you use pencil, it gets covered up super quick. So you don't have to worry about it. I prefer the tape measure, taped off method myself because I like seeing the pattern emerge after I, I do it. But this one, yeah, you just kind of block the shapes out. And you can definitely do this free form. Like I have this spot right here that I didn't 
put any lines on and I'm just kind of filling in a part, just a curve line. Maybe I'll fill it like this. So once it's dry, I can, um, I can wipe off any chalk lines that you happen to see. So, and the, the other thing is with this technique, you can leave some black spaces just to make it more visually interesting. So this one is more free form. And the thing is this technique right here is more um, intuitive, meaning that like you kind of create the pattern without thinking about it too much. You just kind of find where one shape ends and the other one begins and you kind of fill in from there. So this one I find relaxing. Again, you're not gonna, you're not aiming for precise on this one. And the one that you did before, the precision was done for you. So you didn't have to worry about that. So this one is, I'm just gonna cover this all pink. And if it's not, dark enough or the color's not saturated enough for you, you just go in with a couple more layers. And this one's gonna be a little harder to see until it's finished because it's going to take a while for it to dry and a while for me to kind of brush away those lines that we made. So far, which one do you like better? The first one. <laughs> yeah. The first the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like tape. Yeah, the tape, the tape is definitely um it definitely has a, a very distinct look. I know right. I'm taping mine now. <laughs> so <laughs> the last one I'm going to do is actually just we're going to be doing just flowers. Mm -hmm. And if you were doing if you did the water techniques with me when we did the flowers for like the lilac. It's going to be the same. It's this one is very random. And you just kind of do your flower petals, like all coming from the center. And what you do is you do one color at a time, just like when we did the watercolor technique. Mm, I don't have time to do it with them. But I'll watch it. See how she do. Sure. And this, when it's, when the paint's still wet, this is the time if you want to add more color to these, but this is what we do with this one is we wait for these to dry and then we start layering more colors. So I, it's just four petals, just like the lilac in different directions. I don't know, I'm 17 minutes late. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, the great thing is um, I'm doing this like technique by technique. So I'll start back on the bottom. You guys, um, if you know what you, which one you want to do, go for it. You can. Um... Melissa, yeah. can you use painter's tape? Of course. Yes, you absolutely can. Um, painter's tape comes in different widths. So the bigger the width, I got painter's tape right here. Um, yeah. This one, I don't know how big this one is. This one is. This one's about it, I guess, an inch. I'm guessing. I can't, it doesn't say, but you can absolutely do that. <laughs> for, for, I didn't see who just joined, but for whoever just joined, the, we're just, um, we're, the way we're painting our wine bottle, um, I showed three different techniques. You can pick whichever one you like. I suggest doing one because I don't know how all three are together are going to look, to be honest with you. So I'm going to use painter's tape now. If you um, got the kit from class, you have a thinner tape, a washi tape. It's almost like paper or like a ribbon consistency. And cool. what we do is we're just blocking out different shapes. So the thing with the painter's tape is that mine, at least mine is a bit big. It's, it's, a, it's a lot yeah uh, wider so you're going to have a lot of big black swatches which is fine um you might just have to come in um after rising like kind of be a little bit more precise with um with uh how uh how big of a line you'd like to be honest what about so masking it's just tape? a matter of seeing masking tape works you too. know because i got a 
Not a thinner one. Not as thin as the the one that mm -hmm. you have here. You got from the kit because I didn't. I didn't know we had to get that. Um, oh, gotcha. So I would, you know, I'm gonna try the masking tape because because yeah. my painter's tape is just as white as yours. Yeah. So it just yeah. What all it does is just it creates a clean line. So if you have to go, yeah. with this one turned out a lot, a lot better. Um, so I would just kind of clean up my lines a little bit if I have to. But I prefer the the te the uh, tape technique as well. Yeah, I love um, because again, you have a lot of freedom. Yeah, those are. Beautiful. I'm waiting. Battles. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, that, this one uh, that was uh, actually a friend of mine had a had the idea, and then we're just going with it. What she does with these bottles is she uses them as a. Um, as like a watering can for indoors because um, of the long neck, you can actually reach the middle of the plants versus, um, so I got some mm -hmm. more painters. Uh, I'm gonna use my paint. Yeah, I use my bottle. Yeah, it's crazy. I've also seen uh, people use these for, um, um, like for the upside down uh, water bottles, if you're uh, doing like outdoor plants, you can, um, uh, once these are sealed, um, you can put these right in the ground or, or in the in the pot, I should say, like in the dirt in the pot and then it would kind of time release um, uh, the water as the plant needed it. Hmm. So I'm putting more flowers on the top because I haven't peeled anything away. for. Uh, those who just joined, um, I just did three techniques. Uh, the first one was the one with, we're blocking it out with tape. So I would put my um, painter's tape down and uh, I would um, paint, uh, the, just worry about what color sections I wanted and then I would peel the tape off and cool. um, you would get the clean lines. The second one I did was more of like a lava lamp kind of um, organic shape. We're just adding uh, paint uh, where it's it, it's um, where the lines are ending on one uh, organic shape to the next. And I messed that one up a little bit. So let me fix this. So um, I use some chalk to kind of draw out some lines, just to kind of give myself myself some guidance. And I was going to keep some of the black showing. I did a little bit. I need to do a little bit more when I go around. So it's just random shapes. And then the last one was just uh, layers of flowers. So I started and some of my paint came off from the gesso. The bottles of gesso or the bottles were coated with gesso, which is a um, natural paint grabber. Like it, it's what we use to coat canvases. Um, for paintings, if you don't uh, coat your canvas, what happens is that paint absorbs right into um, right into uh, the 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 fabric of the canvas, and then it never fully dries. So when we um, use gesso, there's little like like rocks or pumice um, that actually have um, properties that will actually uh, um, keep the paint on the top, but it also grips it so it doesn't move, it doesn't change. Um, it just helps. It's not the end all be all if we don't have tape. So I am going to start blocking out some more shapes with the tape I have. Mm -hmm. um, we got this wa uh, washi tape, but you don't have to use washi tape. There's other types of tape that work just fine. Scotch tape is great. Um, and it's really just for the one technique. So you can easily use this for um, you, you easily can use something else for the other other techniques. How do you spell just? Go. Gesso? Oh, it is G E S S O. Okay. Um, there, it usually comes in white, black, or clear. Um, 
clear doesn't work as well as the black or the white. And the black works really well um, when you have uh, when you have to fill up a large surface. It makes it it makes the, the piece look finished without actually having to paint the whole thing. Especially with what we're doing when I wanted the stained glass look, this kind of creates that lead look from the lines. And you put the gesso on over the paint. Oh, the, I put the gesso on under the paint. So the, the bottle came, the bottle I'm working with is like a, it was like a light brown. And then I painted it with the black gesso and it created like this matte finish. Like, so it, so it, the, the bottle wasn't shiny anymore. Um, so the uh, gesso acts as a binder to the, to the, um, wine bottle. If I wanted to use, I could have gotten the clear gesso if I wanted the clearness of the bottle to show through. But the problem with that, I, I don't find that the, the clear gesso works as well as holding on to that paint. Um, and I find that uh, the, sometimes the clearness of the bottle can be distracting when you're trying to create a uh, patterns so it's a I, it was just a, it was simply like just an artist's choice so if you want to continue this there's all you have you have options for sure oh i hear a puppy oh that's okay we love dogs Melissa? yes I got, a, I got a question sure. now my bottle is green yeah how can i make it how can i make it black Oh, oh, I, I honestly won't worry about making it black. I would just go, I would lean into it. I would lean into those colors the way, um, the way, uh, the way you have it. Cause honestly, if it's not, if it's, um, if, uh, if, if it's not necessary to the project it okay. probably will be fine so what will happen is when you just when you peel off the tape uh you'll just have um that shining green shining through which is actually right. nice the only one that would really be a little harder to see would be if it was completely clear some of these bottles were completely clear okay all right so i'm gonna the paints are acrylic paints correct they are acrylic, yes. We definitely need acrylic for this one. Um, oil paints take too long to dry. Um, watercolor definitely won't work. Um, the only other thing we could possibly use there is special paints. Um, uh, 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 paint for glass um, that is transparent, but for what we were using today, it wasn't necessary. But um, it generally, the the glass paint generally is in the same areas of uh, the craft stores as um, as a craft paint. And do you add any water to your paint? I only add water um, if it's really like old, if it's chunky, if, you, if it feels chunky to you, then add a little bit of water to try to soften it back up. Okay. So I'm going to try to Oh, yes. I don't know if anybody asked you this, but do we seal this after when it's all done? Yep. Um, we have, we had some uh, Mod Podge. Um, okay. oh, if you okay. have any Mod Podge, that will work. If you have uh, any kind of spray sealant, that will definitely work. Um, but generally speaking, uh, Mod Podge works really well to keep. Oh, yes. Yes paint right on there. And there's different types of Mod Podge. Um, I believe if in the kit, if you got, uh, if you were able to get a kit, then um, the, the, um, the one that was in the kit was uh, glossy. So you'll have a glossy finish. Okay. Mine, okay. mine right here, um, I didn't have glossy at home. I only have matte. So it's going to kind of look a little duller than everyone else's, um, but that's okay. So once everything is completely dry, we have to make sure that everything is completely, completely dry. 
um, then you can go ahead and, and uh, uh, mod podge uh, it to seal it. And there is, and I believe this is good outside as well, the one that we got. Sorry, my Mod Podge is fighting me. All right. Um, so some are specifically for outside, but I've noticed that most of most of the Mod Podge that I've that I've had is good indoor and outdoor anyway. And if you haven't worked with Mod Podge before, it goes on. It looks like glue. Yep. It looks like glue. It looks chalky it doesn't look like it's going to look nice when it's done but once it's dry and some of my paint came off because i didn't wait too long um it, it'll clear out it, it'll it'll dry nice and clear and your image will show through now i actually really like the black spaces in between my projects mm -hmm. um, yes it looks so. real nice yeah, so playing with that negative space is actually actually um, a good technique because we're always thinking about how to fill something, but choosing what to fill and what to leave alone is also a um, really uh, strong artist technique. So I'm gonna add some more stuff to my flowers here. And the more colors that you have that you can add to it, um, will be will make it really interesting. I'm going to see if I can add some more colors up top here. Um, like the one on the one on the top, what makes it interesting is the ability to layer, like the ability to come in and put more color on top and seeing what happens. The one in the middle is, is just uh, more free form. There's not many rules, so you can make you can make it up as you go. And the one at the bottom, our stained glass look, it's really just satisfying when when um, you're covering your 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 um, surface and then you get this beautiful geometric pattern at the end. So I have to wait for this to dry so I can do the other side, but I'm just gonna kind of hold on here and kind of give a give a look. Now, so again, some of the, my lines were not completely clean. I'm okay with that, but if you really want to go back in, you can get some uh, black paint and you can kind of hide it. Because what's the, the good thing about um, covering it with the Maj Podge, the glossy Maj Podge, you're not going to tell the difference between the matte, like matte um, black and glossy black. Matte black is just what the gesso is. It's kind of, kind of just smooth and um, a rich color versus um, most paints have some type of gloss added to it. So at least has like a satiny sheen. And honestly, there you can even come up with something I didn't I didn't even think of today. Like you can come up with different ideas. You can easily use the blocked line technique to um, make stripes and have different color stripes. You can do like a, an American flag for the Fourth of July because anything that you can block block out it would be be suitable for that technique. Some flowers, I, I like to add more details, but I have to wait for that to paint, to that paint to dry. And the chalk that I drew, I kind of wait for it to dry so I can brush it off. It's not too noticeable, only if you kind of really look in there, but. And my finger's stuck. Okay, so one thing that is a good thing to do and not a good thing to do. I, um, when you're holding the bottle, sometimes instead of holding the sides, you can put your finger in the, the nose of the bottle to keep it steady. Um, just be careful not to get your fingers stuck. Um, 
So just slightly, lightly holding it at an angle. I don't know if I can keep do it this way. It gives you a little bit more control. Let's see if I can go ahead and kind of freeform this a little bit more. Because I can't leave anything alone. How are you guys doing? Is this relaxing? Is it complicated? Like I'm cutting my tape I right really now. Like when, um... <laughs> OK. So I'm, so cutting it and I'm trying to make a design and then I'm going to paint after. Oh, that's cool. Like you're making your own stencil. I love it. Yeah. Karen, when are we coming back? I don't know if she's there. Karen? She left well, us. she did. I she, we were talking before class started about um, like having an outdoor class again because that that seems to be really nice. Aside from where we were with the caterpillars, but um, <laughs> yeah, the Eastman. Oh no, yeah. had a lot of caterpillars. But um, being able to be outside was nice. Um, being able to see like what everyone was doing and doing tips and techniques um, in person is a lot easier than- No one is hot though. That's true, that's yeah, true. I can't take the heat. I don't need, me neither, that's why we moved up here. We try, we're trying to get away from the heat as much as possible. Yeah, it's- I feel bad, my, I have uh, my cousins in uh, Arizona and they, are, they can't go outside. It's too hot, it's, it's not safe. Oh yeah. So, what class scary. could you have outside? I missed that one. Oh, that was Survivor's Day. We had um we had a oh yeah we had a little art project um at the uh, George Eastman Duran Park. I think I said that right. I'm still learning the names of these. Yeah, places. you did. Um <laughs> thank you. And uh yeah, we did um alcohol ink um tiles we did like their little coasters out of like um uh uh like a wall tile like for the shower um and then we came in with the alcohol ink uh because they can blend like watercolor but they grip onto ceramic surfaces really well and we just made the coasters and i would love to show you guys that if you are interested it's a lot it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. um and I would love to do that again because it's a it's a really um, relaxing and uh, interesting project. Yeah, I accidentally took off some of my paint because I don't wait long enough. That's okay. When is it safe to pull my tape off? Um. Well, uh, I would say <laughs> after. Well after uh, is everything painted yeah okay i would say go ahead sl slowly do it okay um and i would say uh start as i said start with the piece that's the last one you put down first okay. um so if there's any wet spots that's okay um try pulling it um closer to the drier like drier areas first if you can do that okay but, Yeah, the washi tape is nice because it tends to not be as harsh as other tapes. Um, we use this for uh, for um, blocking out things and watercolor on paper because this one doesn't really rip up paper like like uh, other tapes do. So, so that one, yeah. Because if I went ahead and I use, let's see, the scotch tape. Well, I love scotch tape and it would work for this project, like watercolor, probably, it would probably, I can't even look that up. It's, it's on there. I, yeah, that one's stuck. Uh, yeah, nope, it took paper off. So washi tape is like a, like there are painters tape for artists for paper and that's usually really expensive. The washi 
excuse me, washi tape, and they sell it almost everywhere. It's a, a lot of um, teenagers like to use it because they can decorate uh, their journals and um, like different things. You can decorate a book, decorate, like you, like some people just wrap the colorful tape on um, containers and just call it a day. It's really cool. It's just uh, um, an easier, uh, less expensive option than quote unquote painter's tape. So how are we doing guys? Tina, how's it going? It's coming up. I put quite a few on there, so now I'm just trying to figure out which one to pull first. Oh no, oh, no that's okay, yeah. So yeah, just, yeah, I would just go with the, the driest first. Yeah, so far I'm doing good. good. I had like 10 strips here. <laughs> no, that works. Oh, that's cool. I would uh, I would definitely wait for every bit of it to dry before putting on the um, the what's what's it called the Mod Podge I couldn't think of what it's called because um, if it's a little bit wet it'll come right off so once the tape is pulled I think I think you're good to go just let it let it relax let it sit let it take some time to bond and then jump into the Mod Podge and it's. You can definitely use a brush for Maj Paj. Um, okay. there's, there's definitely pros and cons to that. You can also use the sponge. Um, I have this sponge thing here just because um, if you don't clean your brush thoroughly, your brush is done. So I, I usually have a sponge just readily available. And I realize that my surface is like all messy because this is this is what I painted all the just the bottles with gesso on top of a paper bag because I have so many paper bags. How are we doing, Marcy? Good. I got my bottle all uh, taped up. Good. Yeah. And now I'm starting to um paint. Oh, very good. Yeah, I like that. See what happens. Yeah, it's a lot. It's it's fun when you're not trying to go for an end result. Like you're 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 more just kind of waiting and seeing how it's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to let it sit overnight and then I'm going to do it. Is that going to be OK if I let it sit or not? Yeah, it should be fine. If it does peel off the tape, that's that's okay. We can we can um, touch it up with some black paint. Yeah. Do you have any black paint? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you're good. Actually, you have green. You have a green bottle. So yeah, no, yeah. you'll be fine regardless. You'll be fine. Actually, yeah, you'll be fine regardless. That you actually don't need the black paint. Well, I probably won't. I got my hair dryer down here too. But that's what. Oh, that Karen, works too. That's what Karen said to have. Yeah, so yeah. If you want to, yeah, if you want to go ahead and use the hair dryer, I don't have mine down here, but that would be great um, if you want to just speed up the process of it right. drying. Right. If it's also even if the tape is sticking uh, where it shouldn't, like you're having a hard time, uh, usually yes. uh, going over that with the hair dryer will loosen it. Yep. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm painting right now, so I'm enjoying this. Oh, very good. How is everybody else? Erin, are you still there? Katie? Yeah, I'm here still. I was muted. Okay. I'm kind of far. This is fun. Um, oh, good, 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 good. It goes mine. Oh, that is amazing. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I love your colors. Yeah. Thank you. The other cool, the other cool thing is, um, you can get a chalk marker 
or chalk pen, like the ones that they use to, to uh, write on uh, menu boards. Uh -huh. If you want, if you want to leave, like even after you put the, um, the Mod Podge on it, you, any uh, blank spots, like I have this nice, nice blank spot, you can write something. So if you wanted to say like happy, happy 4th of oh, July cool. or happy, um, or just someone's name or something like that, you can definitely uh, oh, use nice. that. Mm -hmm. You're so smart, Melissa. I, I just, I, I find things and I like to share them. Creative. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait for us to do acrylic paintings again. It was a lot. You and me both. Any ideas uh, on subjects, let me know. Cause I don't wanna like kind of do the same stuff over and over again. If do I you know what it. I would like to do when we get back together again? You What's know, um, the, those birch trees, the yeah. bare ones. Yeah. Everybody, I have that up in my house and everybody mm -hmm. just loves it. So I said, oh, next I said, if we ever go you know, home to, together, because so, I read they, and everybody really likes that. I yeah, that is a fun project. I love that one too. Yep. Yeah, so sounds good. Yeah, and and we can we can. There's like so many different ways to present them too. Yep. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions about the project? Like, um, you can go like if um. If you feel like your colors aren't bright enough, you can definitely go over them um, more than once. Uh, acrylic really shines because you can layer the paint. Um, uh, what else? And again, the Maj Paj, if you need more Maj Paj, uh, we have a ton of it at the club. Um, we can definitely set, uh, set some aside if anyone needs any. Um, And you probably only need one coat of Mod Podge. I, it, you can probably do two if you really wanted to, but I think one would be enough to seal everything. But if you if you do use a, a brush for the Mod Podge, um, definitely you got to clean it really quick. And yeah. I would use some type of dish soap so it doesn't harden onto the brush because that it just it just decides it loves to sink into fibers and not let go. How are we doing, Marianne? Or, uh, or Martine, I'm sorry, Martine. I read that really quick. How are we doing? I, I'm doing good, I'm just observing right now. And I have oh, to okay. do it later, I couldn't do it right now. Oh no, that's okay, that's okay. I'm glad you're here. 